So as everybody in this room knows, this is a very difficult time for lots of us. Um, the good news and the bad news is that in difficult economic times, people turn to their synagogues. The good news is that they're turning to their synagogues. The bad news is that synagogues, like other organizations, are completely under-resourced to respond to the incredible um, needs that our congregations have. Um, we personally at Temple Emanuel have been grateful to the support of the emergency grants that have come from the Federation. Surprising numbers of people in Beverly Hills, California need those grants to make it through the end of the month. I'm interested to know how you see the Federation relating to St. Bonnie and how we can continue to work together at this very Okay, well, uh, clearly, um, I'm a big believer in synagogue life, and we have to have, the, the great news is we have a great board of rabbis, and Denise Eggers, Rabbi Denise Eggers is here, and Rabbi Mark Diamond are, are both here, and I think the Federation needs to be even more committed to, to the synagogues um, on multiple levels, including, frankly, the fact that we need more people to be able to afford synagogue membership and children to be able to afford to go to, to Hebrew school and day, and day school. I think we have to address as a community, I think, the, the, the high cost of being Jewish in Los Angeles. And that has two sides to it. It has the consumer side and it has the synagogue side. So I, I want us to be able to work closer, closely with you, uh, with Temple Manuel and all the synagogues in Southern California, but I also want to make sure that we're addressing the needs of, of people who want to affiliate. Jay, what's your elevator pitch for why somebody should give directly, give to the Federation rather than directly to Jewish Family Service or one of the agencies that puts the money to use immediately? Well, I think uh, anybody who's interested in a, in, a, in a specific organization issue should support them generously. We're one community, and, and I don't think anyone should support the Federation if they're, and it's clearly just the Federation, if, they, if they're interested in any other organization. On the other hand, <laughs> I'd say two words to you, only Federation. And those words to me mean only Federation is their crisis. Only Federation deals with the global Jewish issues. You know, you can, I said to somebody, it's, it's not the best analogy, but frankly, what, what's great about Federation is all the things that we do that you don't know, all the programs that we fund that we start that you don't know. Right? You know the obvious ones. We, we are the largest funder of Jewish education currently in Los Angeles. We are the largest outside funder of Jewish Family Service in Los Angeles, outside the government. We give Jewish Family Service this year $3 million. So we're funding that. We have an emergency grant program. But we're doing enormous other programs. We probably fund about 900 programs, small programs and big programs. We have been involved in incubating a number of programs. Um, so, you know, the, the Valley Alliance, I, I know that uh, Cindy is here, the Valley Alliance uh, of the Jewish Federation was, was uh, an early funder of Jewish World Watch. So you give a gift to the Federation, you're helping the entire community. Now, should you also give specific gifts? Absolutely. But I think everybody in this room should be contributing to the Federation because we, even today, are the backbone of the community. Hi. It doesn't have the mic. I have the mic. I guess I talk, but... Uh, Only if you watch your medical This is my Donahue moment. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. Hi, Jerry. Jay, given some facts, which I would quickly remind you of, I'm sure you know. One... First, you talk into the mic, because I can hear you, but... One fact that the bulk of the Jews in this so-called community, how are you defining them? Out of the 550 to 600,000 Jews, maybe 20% are affiliated formally to any. Absolutely. Number two, if one counts the number of Jews to Federation, 1952, when half the number of Jews then, that is now 52,000 gives to Federation. Today, number is around 20, less than 20,000. Number three, that the past years, Federation has gone only for big gifts and deserted its job as a building community has shown no interest in people as people, organization or otherwise. How will you move with that transformation given the paucity of money to 
do the very most important things that are needed, namely to build some sense of community in a larger sense. Okay, so that's the, those are all great. I can't disagree with anything you said. The great news about taking a job over is that you, you can learn from history, but you weren't a part of the history. Uh, we, there is not a, I, I know many people here know this, there is not a Jewish community in Los Angeles. There are multiple communities. There are all kinds of Jewish communities. I was recently talking to somebody in, uh, in, that lives in Silver Lake. There's a JCC in Silver Lake. Um, and I said to them, you must, we need to be doing a lot of programming for young people because the, the Jewish community in the Silver Lake area is very, very, very young. Um, I, don't, I, I don't know if the Federation has been overly invested in, in big givers, Jerry. Uh, I do know that we, we have to broaden our base of support. And the good news to me is, is that because there are so many more people to raise money from, even in a bad economy, the campaign can only go up from here. Especially if we do the community outreach you're talking about. So we are, we are going to have, uh, as many people know, I, I come from the media business, we are going to have a web strategy that doesn't currently exist that will do tremendous outreach to young people. We're going to build on the success of the Obama campaign. We're actually probably going to hire the same company to do our web initiative that did the, the Obama presidential campaign. Reach out to young people, reach out to people where they are, engage them in, other, in, in, in meaningful ways, one of the great things the Federation does today is leadership development. We're doing tremendous leadership development, and my goal is to increase the leadership development we do at Federation and, and create leaders not just for the Federation, but for organizations all across the city, Jewish and secular. Um, so there's a lot of ways we can build community, and I think there's, there's a lot of good work to do, Jerry, but I think that we will be beginning it just by recognizing that there are more people disconnected and unaffiliated and if we have a Big Ten philosophy, and that's what our philosophy is, I'm going to spend just as much time with a young person who's a potential $100 giver as I'm going to spend with a $100,000 giver. Uh, and, I, and I, by the way, I don't think the economy is an issue. I really don't think the economy is an issue because we don't, we are not reaching the majority of, of Jewish philanthropists in this field. So with money, every problem becomes a little different. Um, another question?